Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-16 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the tension developed in wires CA and CB required for equilibrium of the 10 kg cylinder and we have to take theta as 40 degrees. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body diagram. So this is the force in the wire CB and this is the force in the wire CA and this is the weight force. Let's label them. Let's call this TCB and this as TCA and this is the weight. Now we have to resolve this TCB force and the TCA force into its components. For TCB force, we have a horizontal component and the vertical component. Also for TCA force, we have a horizontal component and the vertical component. Let's label them. The vertical component is TCB sin theta and the horizontal component is TCB cos theta. The vertical component of TCA force is TCA sin 30 and the horizontal component is TCA cos 30. The weight force is mass into 9.81 so 10 into 9.81 so weight is 98.1 newtons. So this is our free body diagram. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have TCB cos theta and theta is 40 degrees minus TCA cos 30. equals to 0. So upon simplification we have 0 0.77 TCB minus 0 0.87 TCA equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Now in the equation 1 we have two unknowns but we have a single equation. So we would have to form an another equation. So my second equation is summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have TCB sin theta and theta is 40 degrees plus TCA sin 30 minus the weight force. So 98.1 equals to 0. So from here we have 0 0.64 TCB plus 0 0.5 TCA equals to 98.1. Let's call this equation 2. So now we have two equations and two unknowns so we can simultaneously solve them. So you can use any of the methods. I am going to use the method of substitution. So for that I would consider the equation 1. So consider equation 1 this equation and from the equation 1 if I make the TCB subject then I would have TCB is equals to 0 0.87 TCA divided by 0 0.77. So from here TCB is equals to 1.13 TCA. Let's call this equation 3. Now substitute the value of TCB 
into the equation 2 So equation 2 becomes zero point sixty four and in the place of TCP we will substitute one point one three TCA plus zero point five TCA equals to ninety eight point one. So upon simplification we have 1.2232 TCA equals to 98.1 So upon further simplification TCA comes out to be 80.2 Newtons So this is our first answer Now to find the value of TCP we can substitute the value of TCA back into the equation 3. So from equation 3, TCB is equals to 1.13 into TCA and TCA is 80.2. So TCB comes out to be 90.6 Newtons. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.